Oh hey, it's Rob. I'm outside today, and it's a little cold, but I'm outside for a good reason. I got something. There she is. Brand spanking new trailer. Well, it's actually last year's model, but uh, I needed to get one to replace the one that was stolen. And uh, yesterday I bought the bullet. And I'm actually really happy with this one. Um, it's quite a, quite a step up from the old one. Ah, ah, ah! Quite a step up from the old one. Uh, it's a 6x12, the other one was a 5x12. So it's got a little bit more, a uh, little bit more space on it. Uh, it's also a full one ton weight, where the other one was only a half ton. So it's got a little more capacity. These rails fold down. The whole target comes out. The uh, target, the ramp, can be pulled off completely. I mean, all the rails can come off completely. It's very, very customizable. So I am going to be doing some customizing, but seeing as I just got it yesterday, or I guess Sunday, um, yeah, not going to do that much to it yet. But one thing I am going to do is I'm going to put a coat of some uh, sealer on it for this deck so that the deck doesn't get destroyed so easily. I just realized as I'm doing this, it's just starting to snow, so I think I got my timing just about right. <clears throat> this is a very thin sealer. It's almost entirely, I think, mineral oil. Which is fine, because that will get into the wood deeply. And there we go. That's the uh, finished coating. I'm letting that soak in. Uh, most of it's already soaked into the wood really nicely. But now, even if it gets wet, um, even if it snows or rains, that wood is going to be in a lot better shape. It's all really nice. It's even got the license sticker on it. Very fun. Very nice. I like this. And it's also got a couple of other nice features. Uh, one is that it's got the, uh, well, the flip-up gate in the back is solidly locked into place so it doesn't rattle. And that's, I mean, if you've ever driven one of these trailers before, they rattle like mad, so that's a, that's a nice touch. Uh, it also has a two-inch hitch ball, which was a little bit of a problem because my, uh, my, um, uh, ball hitch thing it, you know it's a one of those adjustable ones it's three different sizes and it was um, it was corroded in place so I had to get a grinder and actually grind it off um, yeah so the joys are the joys are pretty immense on that one uh, but it's off. I got the new uh, the new hitch pin in and we're good to go So Yeah, I got a new trailer hmm. Heading in to get some lunch Going to the 209 bar 209 food drink fun uh, This is actually a really good place. It's got some uh, pretty good food and it's uh, it's attached to Red Stew's breakfast bar, which is only open on the weekends, and I think Monday uh, morning for breakfast, which is also really good. But gonna head in here and get some get some yums. Thank you. Yeah. Second day, second coat. This time I'm using uh, Thompson's Water Seal Transparent uh, Natural Cedar Color. So I'm going to give it a little bit of a color wash to it. But that first uh, that first application just 
completely soaked in the wood is still just bone dry so cool and so this definitely and it looks more like chocolate milk than it does uh, wood protected but it can get it in there Yeah, this is just soaking right in too. All right, well, I'll show you what it's like when it's done. Oh, hey, it's Rob, and this is going to be the maiden voyage of the trailer with its first actual load. Piper's ready. Hi, sis. Hey, sis wants to play. Come on, let's go. Let's go car ride. That's not car ride. That's block of wood. You're not very healthy, sissy. It's kind of like stick, but different. All right, you're a very good girl. Okay, come on, sissy low. Good girl, Opa, good girls. Good girls, yeah. All right, dog nose is it. Okay, on our way to the transfer station. I can hear the trailer. Rumbling on the hitch just a little bit, but it's normal. And of course, the dogs are uh, very much enjoying having their heads out the window. So, all right, see you when we get there.
In the kitchen. Why not? What if I want to do jumping jacks? What if I all of a sudden oh, get the okay? You could do jumping to... jacks in the kitchen. Just you're not going. You're not. Jacks. You're not going to get high enough to hit your head on the fan. Hmm. Yeah, yeah, I'm fine, but that's it. Okay. Hey, it's Rob. And that's not Hello. Rob. No, I'm not Rob. Hello. Yeah. He's evil minion. Evil minion. Yes. What one? Which clone am I? I think you, you're you're the only one right now, so. Oh. All right. This is a microwave that has waved its last micro, uh, and we're going to take it apart so that um, Tyson can see what they look like on the inside and kind of how they work. So yeah, it is very dirty, but like this is all rust. I mean, it's rusting through in places, so. You realize I'm talking on the wrong side of the microphone. I'll do that. Now we've got a dual pattern. I think Piper wants food. I think she's smelling. Uh, no, yeah, that's food. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, I think she might be smelling something. You know, that's, mm. that's Piper's food. Yeah. So we'll just... <laughs> oh man, that's Torx. What? That's a, that's a Torx security <laughs> What? Correct. 